We are farmers. 1954 French built Ford, Ford Monte Carlo Coupe, and has a body by Fassel of Paris, who later built the Fassel Vegas. And the very first Fassel Vegas basically used this body, except during the restoration, we got down to bare metal. You could see how they clipped this section onto the fender, and for the Fassel Vega, they put a different clip on the front end with dual headlights and everything. And there was also a Bentley built off this same body later on after Ford sold. Um, I forget what year now it is that Ford of France was formed. But uh, when they sold out to Simca, Simca built a few of these, still using the Ford engine, but they only made 699 of these all together. So it was a pretty rare car. And this one's one of one because they shipped it over to the States and in the, at the design center, they made some modifications on it for Henry Ford II. And I understand he didn't use the car too much. He was a pretty good sized guy. And by the time he got this car, the Lincolns had a brand new engine, new, they got away from the Ford Flathead, they went to the all new engine. And he probably drove that most of the time just because of his size and it sat in the Ford Rotunda behind, on display over there or the Ford Design Center for a number of years. And then it got, uh, Gil Trewick, a modeling supervisor, got the car at the Design Center. And then Paul Wong, who was a design manager, he bought it from uh, Gil Trewick. And then 1967, I bought the car for like $800. And I drove it as an everyday car. And then I got drafted six months after I came into Ford and I drove it back to the New York area and put it in my mom's barn back in New Jersey. And it sat there for years, except the Henry Ford Museum was gonna do a redo of one of their car shows. And they shipped it out to Michigan. And it was on display for about six months at the Henry Ford Museum for a while. and then. Uh, back in around 2000, we started a restoration on it to have it done for the 100th anniversary of Ford Motor Company. Well, we didn't make it. It took us about seven years. Uh, McLaren cars, they were doing the restoration. A friend of mine who was the vice president at the time, he got, um, they didn't sign his new contract. So uh, I had to find a new place to have it done. So we. We did it in different job shops. I have a picture of Henry Ford in, in Paris at the Paris Motor Show. And he's with um, uh, Walker, who was a head of Ford Design at the time, and the president of Ford of France. And they're in a Ferrari display, and they're looking at a, a Ferrari with basically the same grill. And Two years later, it appeared on this, this vehicle for Henry Ford. And a lot of people call it a Ferrari grill, but other people call it a 49 Nash grill, because the Nash car had kind of the same Ferrari-like grill before Ferrari had it. And well, it wound up on this car. And we did a body up restoration, and being basically a one-off car, um, the, um, uh, let's see, being a one-off car, there are no spare parts or anything. And we had to lower 18 inches of the car all the way around. We had to make from scratch because there was so much rust in it. We took it down to Toledo and had a dip after we stripped the body and everything. And we basically cut the car in half and started rebuilding the whole thing. And I've got as much invested in the car as I do in my house, you know, which was a lot more than I expected to. But it got to a point where the bills kept flowing in and you almost had to laugh about it. You know, you're going through your, all your money you had saved for retirement. But I think it was, it was pretty good saving the vehicle. And it is kind of a famous car being Henry Ford II. Well, one of the neat things was back in 1953, my parents for Easter gave me my Easter basket and they gave me a book at 50 years of Ford Motor Company. There's a picture of one of these in there. And I remember from the time I was like 
10 years old, you know, just thinking that it was one of the neatest Fords ever. And then as soon as I hired into Ford, I basically bought it within uh, six weeks, I think, of coming into Ford. So the car was originally baby blue when Henry Ford had it with a dark blue top and two-tone blue interior. Then it was brought back into the Ford Design Center and they put an experimental vinyl interior, which kind of has a, a feeling of a leather back in the early 50s. And they painted it uh, metallic blue. Well, seeing as I'm gonna have this car until I go into my grave, I decided I'd stay with the blue, but I didn't want a metallic. I wanted to have a, a straight blue because it's more of a Bentley type look to the car and everything. And I think it came off pretty well. And I, the first time out at Meadowbrook, the Concord de Elegance, I was in a circle with Della Hayes and Rolls and everything else. And I got the Lions trophy and everything. And this one guy with a Rolls he brought out from um, the East Coast, he was so mad that Ford had beat him out with this custom built, you know, Rolls, this custom built Ford beat him. And that's just the way it goes, you know? <laughs> It wasn't my fault. Uh...